Hello everyone, welcome to EduTab and welcome to NABAD ARD Static Series through MCQs. Today we will be discussing second part of agrometrology and today our topic of discussion is clouds. Okay. So students, first I will be telling you the answer of the question which I have given you in the previous video and then we will be taking this discussion further. Okay. But before that, I would like to tell you about the initiative that has been taken by EduTab as we have launched this NABAD comprehensive guidebook, okay, which is your one step solution to all your queries regarding NABAD as an organization. Regarding if you have any query regarding NABAD exams, like how many phases are there, what is the eligibility criteria, syllabus, job profile, everything is being covered in this book. And also, it is also providing you the six step strategies plus resources to crack these NABAD exams. Students, you can get this comprehensive guidebook for free. And for that, you have to go to the description box, click on the link, register yourself and avail this guidebook for free. And also, I would like to add that though this guidebook is free in monetary terms, but the information it will provide you is invaluable. Okay. So, students were saying that I start my uh, video and the question which I have given you in the previous video is, Saffron, one of the premium crop in India and around the world is grown abundantly in which of the following agroclimatic zone of India? Options were lower Gangetic plain, upper Gangetic plain, western Himalayan region, all of the above, none of the above. Okay. Student, let me take you to the slide. Okay. We have discussed 15 agroclimatic zones. Ke bare mein discuss kiya tha. See, Saffron mostly present hota hai hamara, found hota hai, cultivate hota hai hamara kahan pe? Jammu Kashmir. Mein. Okay. It is mostly cultivated in Jammu Kashmir. So, Jammu Kashmir is in this region, okay, and this region is our Western Himalayan region. So, the right answer for this question will be your Western Himalayan region, okay. Now, moving on to the today's uh, question, which is, which of the following clouds are important for agriculture purposes, okay. Options are cirrostratus, cirrocumulus, cumulonimbus, altus cumulus, none of the above. Now, before answering this question, we will discuss what is cloud, what are the types of cloud, okay. So, basically, students, water cycle we have all have read about the water cycle okay how the cloud are formed so your clouds are mass of water droplet and ice crystals suspended in atmosphere very basic okay clouds kya hote hain? they are mass of water drop, drops or ice crystals which are suspended in atmosphere okay now let's see what are the what is the classification of clouds so basically students uh, world meteorological organization have classified clouds Okay, they have classified clouds in four different families and under these four different families, we have 10 types of clouds based on height and appearance. Okay, height, unki height kitani hai and how they appear in uh, seeing. So, that is your class basis of your classification. Now, what is the uh, classification? Let us discuss. See, cloud, clouds has been classified into four families. Your family A, family B, family C and family D according to their height. Okay, see. If the cloud have altitude of 5 to 13 kilometers, it is kept in family A. Okay. If it has had it had altitude of 2 to 7 kilometers, it is kept in family B. Okay. If altitude level is 2, 0 to 2 kilometers, then it is kept in family C. Okay. And if the altitude is from 0 to 13 kilometers, okay, then it is it is kept in your family D. Okay. So here see altitude is 5 to 5, 13 kilometers, very high, so they are high level clouds. Okay. Then medium altitude is 2 to 7. So they are family B is your medium level cloud. Then your altitude is 0 to 2 kilometers. Then they are low level clouds. Moving on to the last altitude is 0 to 13 kilometers. 13 kilometers. So they are large vertical extending clouds. Okay. Now let us discuss them in detail. Okay. First family that is altitude is 15, sorry, 5 to 13 kilometers. Okay. And the types are Cirrus, okay. The first is your cirrus, and this type of cloud do not produce pre precipitation, okay. And it appears feathery and feathery in appearance, okay. Like you can see in the picture, such type of cloud is known as your cirrus cloud, okay. Moving on to the next, that is cirrocumulus. Students, these are white globular masses, okay. These are glo white globular masses, as you can see in the picture, white globular, mass globular masses, and but they do not have any shading effect, okay. So, and this type of uh, cloud is or uh, sky is also known as mackerel sky. Okay, you have to remember this uh, that cirrocumulus, when cirrocumulus appears, it is also known as mackerel sky. Now, moving on to the next, that is cirrostratus. See, it looks like a whitish veil and cover entire sky. Okay, and also it has the halo effect. So, 
such type of cloud is called as cirro stratus now moving on to the next family with which is your family b and media altitude level is 2 to 7 kilometers okay so first is your alto cumulus okay this alto cumulus is look look like sheep bath and also called as flock cloud or wool pack cloud okay jaise ek wool ki uh, ek jaise sheep ki wool hoti hai that is type ka appear appear hota hai that is why okay and isko hum kya bolte hain alto cumulus okay and that is why it is known as फ्लॉक क्लाउड और वुल पैर क्लाउड क्योंकि ये शिप शीप के वुल की तरह अपीयर होता है ठीक है नो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट दैट इज एल्टो स्ट्रेटस सी एल्टो स्ट्रेटस आर इनमें इन क्लाउड की वजह से क्या होता है रेन अकर इन मीडियम एंड हाई लैटिट्यूड ओके एंड दे कास्ट शेडो सो सच टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड आर एल्टो स्ट्रेटस ठीक है नो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट विच इज योर फैमिली सी that is low level clouds okay altitude is 0 to 20 2.5 km okay you can say 0 to 2 or 2.5 km okay now under this we have three types first is your stratocumulus okay they are darker in appearance okay your stratocumulus are darker in appearance moving to stratus okay this stratus cloud are mainly seen in winters and they are responsible for occasional winter drizzle your stratus is occasional uh, stratus cloud is seen in winters and they are responsible for occasional winter drizzle okay clear now moving on to the nimbostratus nimbostratus they are responsible for sticky pre precipitation okay so they are the this is the classification of cloud under family c now moving on to the family d which is extending what which has the large vertical extending okay that is 0 to 13 km okay we have two types in this first is your cumulus okay these are uh, see cumulus uh, are lo they look like a cauliflower jaise ek phool gobi ka jaise ek phool gobi dikhti hai bahar se theek hai they appear somewhat like that jaise ki aap uh, you can see in the picture so they are called as cumulus okay and further they develop into cumulonimbus okay and this cumulonimbus are violent wind thermos of uh, thermos थंडरस्टोम हेल्स एंड लाइटनिंग ठीक है इसमें क्या होता है वॉल एंड विंड थंडर स्टोम हेल एंड लाइटनिंग होती है इन क्यूमिलो नंबर ओके एंड दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्रीकल्चर वाई बिकॉज दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रेन ओके सो दैट इज वाई दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्रीकल्चर नो मूविंग ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन विच वर्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्लाउड आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्रीकल्चर पर्पजेज योर ऑप्शन आर सीरो स्टेटस सीरो क्यूमिलस cumulus nimbus alto uh, alto cumulus none of the above okay just now we have discussed that your cumulus nimbus is responsible for rain and is important for agriculture so answer for this is cumulus nimbus okay moving on to the next which says on the basis of height clouds clouds are grouped into how many categories okay so question uh, but uh, students yahan pe question ko pura karne ke liye mai kar deti hu on the basis of height see w World Meteorological Organization had divided clouds in how many groups? Okay, so your options are two, three, four, nine, six. We have discussed this that WMO has divided clouds into four families and ten genera. Okay, ten types. It has further ten types. So our option for uh, these are two, three, four, nine, six, and right option is your four. Okay. Now moving on to the next, which is Which type of cloud produce violent wind, thunderstorm, hail, and lightning during summer? Options are cirrus, stratus, cumulus, nimbus, cumulonimbus. See, students, uh, this thing we have uh, we have discussed in this slide. Okay, violent uh, wind, thunderstorm, hail, or lightning will be responsible. Okay, okay. And also, this cumulonimbus is uh, important for your agriculture. See, I have given this question because. your uh, examiner may ask the question like this also okay it is an agriculturally important uh, it is in, important for agriculture so question might come in this way also okay so the answer for this question will be cumulus numbers okay now moving on to the next which type of cloud are wispy and feathery and silky in appearance okay your options are cirrus stratus cumulus nimbus cumulus numbers students uh, this question you have to do by yourself and let me know the answer of this question in the comment box okay i hope i have uh, i have tried to give you the information which whichever you have i hope the information is being conveyed to you properly and also if you like my video please 
join us on our YouTube channel and to download the PDF of this lecture, you can join us on Telegram channel. So that was all for this video, students. I hope you will like this. Thank you. Thank you so much.